to be African American. It's to be seated in sanctity, then uprooted and transitioned along a triangle of trade before we ever got to grow into fruitful. An attempt to have us nourish into nothing, bloom into broken and ripen into rotten before we ever got the chance to grow into our own sustenance. It's to be part of a plot, twist, a plot of sinister minds, stealing plots of land, turning them burial plot of a people. If you steal them, they will come. Their field of American dreams whispered that they could manifest a world out of our corpses and it would still be considered more destiny than cemetery. The problem is we've been the salt of this land since we got here. The fertilizer feeding the revitalization of scorched earth. The nutrients needed to resuscitate this dead dirt They thought they could grow us helpless and harmless Like it ain't our blood and sweat that maintained all this And now they're astonished in awe of the accomplishments And the abundance of our harvest Purpose always comes to light And we have so much sun in our skin That we be glowing, be growing Finding the beauty and bravery within Despite how they tried to demoralize our darkness They gave us cotton Like our Teflon tenacity wasn't cut from a different cloth made a strange fruit, but we be the apple of our lineage's eyes, so we didn't roll far from the royalty and the family tree that we are. They miseducated us, but we be tied to the genius and greatness from which we evolved. They even went as far as trying to plant a twisted religion into God's slave ship to plantation. They never planned to let us leave plantation and segregation they never planned to give us peace so with every moment of black boy joy and black girl magic their disdain just increased because despite how they tried to bury us in the rubble of their hate and fear we still arose even in concrete and look how we bloom the sweet of our fruit a poison spoiling their truth how compelling that they bought sold and sold souls just to reap a rebellion we planted a prayer and footsteps formed in the sand. We planted a hymnal and freedom sprouted from our voices. We planted a way out and the stars grew into a map. We planted strength and resilience and left every shackle snap. They thought they would reap a cemetery, a plot of stolen souls that would ripen into rotten. But this land was our mother's first. Our names were never forgotten. So for all of us that were left buried from all of their plotting, it only made the foundation for the next next generations to grow into an even more bountiful garden and that's why the truth will always continue to be that we be water bearer and light bringer beyond what they can conceive our ancestry of kings queens authors and farmers we breed so no matter where we land as long as we stay alive and believe absolutely nothing says hope like just planting a seed